Hey everybody, it's Christine and today I have a super cool layout for you using creative photo corners from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. So I don't have a video of my creation at the start because I was just messing around, but I did snap a few pictures so I'm going to just talk you through it real quick. What I did is I drew a 10 inch circle and then I started to go all the way around the outside of the circle with the creative photo corners, overlapping as needed. And then once I had created one circle, I started to add another layer. And then I did another circle, and then I did another circle, creating kind of the look of a dahlia flower with layer after layer after layer of petals. And that was what I was going for. Um, as I went, my layers and my circles got off kilter and wonky, but this was a very forgiving process. In the end, it turned out perfectly. And yes, it took me nearly two hours, but you will see it turned out incredibly cool. And if you're wondering how many creative photo corners it took, I would say it took about 600 total. So several packages, <laughs> um, but not, I mean, not crazy, crazy so many packages. And if you already have them on hand, then no biggie. Um, but you can see the end result here, a really cool, unique, one of a kind background that um, just <laughs> kind of blew my mind as I was making it. I was like, this is going to be so cool. Um, so with that in mind, I did need to keep things very simple within the layout because I've already got a lot going on and I don't want to cover a lot of this up. One thing I do want to say is that I think this would be a really cool home decor piece. Um, like, especially I thought like on some, like some shiplap wood on a background and then using it um, as like a, a focal piece, focal art piece. Um, but obviously stores are closed and I didn't have any time to go anywhere with that. So I decided I would just keep at it with keep at it on paper and see how it looked on paper. And um, I probably will revisit it down the road when we're able to get out and be a little more mobile. Now, I am using a page kit, and it's actually a March page kit from the scrap room to create the rest of my layout. This is all paper and embellishments from Echo Park Paper. And like I said, I'm going to keep it real simple. Right now, I'm adding my border, and I am going to miter my edges so that those stripes line up a little more nicely. And I'm just using my Easy Runner Grand from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L to do that. Speaking of sp Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L... All the photo corners were from them. They are called Creative Photo Corners, and I will link you up to them down below. But I have also recently rejoined their creative team. I was with them for nearly three years and took, took a little break last fall. Um, just things were really busy with my family. My son had had a seizure and things were just crazy and I needed to step away for a little while. But I am stepping back in because I was still using all their products and I was missing them. So um, here I am, this is my return um, to Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. So all that said, you know, if you go into any of my videos, you see me using their stuff all the time. So it's not really like they went anywhere. I just haven't officially been designing for them. Now I am. And um, I think, you know, using that many creative photo corners is a great way to kick things off. Am I right? <laughs> um, I'm curious if some of you don't have that many creative photo corners already in your stash that you could easily do it as well. Um, and maybe that will do give you something to pass some time. Uh, I also think it would look really cool with a mixture of colors. Um, but um, you can see how it, you know, you can see why I got excited as I was creating it and why I ended up staying up late working because it just really came together to be a fun creation. I don't do a ton of one photo layouts. However, in this case, this was one that I wanted to do a one photo layout because I didn't want to cover too much up. And I am going to use some more of their adhesive, the creative, or I'm sorry, <laughs> I've got that word in my head, the 3D foam creative sheets that are just, you can cut them into whatever piece or size you want. And so I just use them to back my layout. Quite honestly, I could have gone with like creative, um, <laughs> creative crafty foam tape or um, just some 3D foam 
adhesive squares, but I decided to go with the sheet because I just thought it would lay better with the amount of texture that I had going on in the background there. So that was why I went that direction. You can see I've also tucked a little marquee piece underneath the picture to add a little bit to it, but without adding too much. And I matted my picture in pink. And then I am going to go ahead and add on some butterflies. And those butterflies have been fussy cut out of some patterned paper from this page kit. And I am going to go ahead and add those with some 3D foam circles. Um, Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L has a package that has circles and it has both bigger ones and smaller ones. And so I like that because if, like, say the butterfly has a wider antenna base body area you can use the bigger ones but if not you can use those smaller ones and especially those are fantastic on those tiny small butterflies now i've been messing around with title ideas in my head because again i don't want to cover too much up i don't want to distract from the art of the layout or from the picture but i do need something that really complements both of those and in the end i decided to go with an acrylic word from Bella Boulevard and it's just a big word that says sweet. It is white so it will be white on white but I don't think it gets hidden at all. In fact I think it's got that subtle factor that I was looking for amidst the background that I already have on there. It doesn't take away from it in the least and I like the script font with the look. I just think it's a nice compliment to it. I am going to add a little chipboard subtitle up there above the picture um, just because it felt like it complemented the look of it nicely and that is just about it. I am going to add on just a few enamel dots and I'm just kind of playing around trying to figure out if I want any more butterflies or anything like that. Um, but very simple, very straightforward after we get through the beginning. Um, <laughs> simple and straightforward post the start of the layout. <laughs> um, all in, it took me a couple hours to get this one done, but I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. Be sure to swing by the Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L blog and check out some close-ups of this creation as well as you can find all kinds of inspiration there from my team members and of course you can get some great adhesives there as well. Thanks for stopping by today and we will see you again next time.